So welcome to Newcastle Central. Got a fun little delivery in the mail. It's class 108 three car DMU set from Bach and Branch Line. I uh, wanted this for uh, quite a while, um, mainly since I keep mixing up the class 101 and the class 105. Um, <laughs> so I may as well add the 108 in. At least it'll be a little bit more obvious since it's a three car set. Uh, so this is DCC fitted, it's also weathered. Uh, I came in from Hattons. So I'm going to open this up, check it out, and uh, see if we can get it running tonight. So this is the 108 out of the box. This is the driving loco. Like I said, it's the 108 weathered uh, with yellow ends. This would be the regular driving loco. There's then the metal carriage. And then some first class in there as well. So kind of like the, you know, we've got the 105 back there, the 101 as well. Um, very nice detailing on this first class cabin. You know, it's saying first on the window, nice decals on the door. Yeah, it is a little weathered, so I do actually kind of like it. I don't know if it's, you know, maybe it's paint blemishing almost, not quite this little there, but I actually think it works out pretty good. Very light weathering, which is... I know what I was looking for. I haven't weathered any of my other locals. Um, you know, most of them are kind of older locals anyway. But the 105 and the 10, the 101, you know, they're they're the new Backman locals too. In time, I probably will weather them, and this is kind of the look that I will be going for. Nothing too over the top. I might actually do a little bit more dirt and grime on this, but I think this is this is a good starting point. And the reason why I was so particularly interested. And this Bachman 108, I've had my eye on this for well over a year and a half now. And there's a very particular reason for this. Coming in from Middlesbrough, which is you know, just down the coast from Newcastle. And if we spin around, it is even on its way to Newcastle. So this, this makes me very, very happy at Newcastle Central to now have one of the locals that would have been running up and down the east coast here between Middlesbrough and Newcastle. Um, I don't know, probably he's calling out at Sunderland along the way too. Um, but this is exactly the kind of loco that would have been running around out here back in the eddies. Now if we step back, looks pretty good. So class F for the mallards. Looking a little out of place now, I'm probably going to move that. And I just kind of had it there to fill up some space, but now the station itself is already starting to look pretty busy, so. This can DCC fitted already from Hattons. Um, reason being is it takes three 8-pin DCC decoders. Um, so even though there's only that very, this very first loco, um, is where the actual motor is, this is the driving loco. Um, but then each of these other two units also has a DCC chip fitted uh, to control the lighting. So on here it's kind of hidden in back here. It's actually pretty well done. Well, it's pretty well done hidden behind the door there. And then again, you can just see some of the wires hanging out kind of hidden behind that door. Um, no ma'am okay with fitting these. Um, even, on end, even on some of the end scale car locomotives that I have, I'm quite okay fitting DCC decoders. Um, Honestly, with these, I just I didn't want to run the risk of taking these apart, and it really wasn't that expensive to get them fitted. And I kind of figured that they would be a little bit fiddly, trying to hide the wires and stuff like that, so... I'll leave it at They did a good job. Um, they take a little longer than normal. It was almost at the point where I was going to reach out to them. It took a week after ordering, um, before this thing was ready to ship. And normally, I don't know, maybe it's Hatton's just have historically set a pretty high bar for themselves. Normally they turn them always around within uh, within two or three days. So, But it's here. It was worth the wait. Um, so let's see if we can let's see if we can get this started running. Quite happily running around at the moment. It's a 
beautiful evening. Got both doors in the shed open, so a whole bunch of natural light pouring in. You're also getting quite a bit of a sneak peek of some of the stuff that's been going on in Newcastle Central. I have another video coming up that covers some of the additional detailing work that I've been doing, but the eagle eye amongst you will realize that um, things looking a little bit different with all those backboards. I need to make sure I don't lean on the track to stop the trend moving there. Um, but yeah, I did finish. I put it on Facebook. I finished putting up some of uh, the brown the brown covering all the way around the walls and then put up some basic backboards. Uh, just painted them a very light sky blue for now. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I have looked at some of the um, some of the actual photorealistic backgrounds. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how it's really going to work out given it would need to be a very specific scene for, for Newcastle Central. So I'm going to let this run around for oh, 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour or so, just to kind of bed this in. But very happy so far. We'll get some extra shots coming up soon. So another thing I wanted to talk about is the one way it runs around since this is a little bit of an out of band video it's not really so much of a layered update video and uh, kind of good stopping point just to kind of ooh look at that segue transition over to some of the end scale stuff that I'm doing um, this is also one of the reasons why uh, things sometimes seem a little bit slow uh, in Newcastle Central I also do some engage modeling. Uh, I think I mentioned before the local clubs, a lot of the local clubs actually up here around the Seattle area um, are all N-Gage. So there is some HL uh, but a lot of it up here is N-Gage. So uh, these are some of the modules that I built. I, I did a video a long time ago, uh, I think it was before Christmas, on building up this first T-Track module. So T-Track called Tabletop, it's actually a shelf in my case. Uh, building up this T-Track module. This is not the finished thing, it's not entirely finished, but most of the way finished, close enough that uh, I really like the look of it. There's some interior lighting there, a whole bunch of vehicles lined up, little caboose. Every, every, every US layout seems to need a caboose, and uh, I'm going to be running a bunch of modern diesels, so uh, no real cabooses will be on my locos. This is then the diesel maintenance unit. Kind of come inside, got a refueling point there, and then inside got an inspection, a couple of inspection bears. I want to do some lighting inside of those, you can really tell with inspection bears in there. Um, and we've got a little platform up there, we've got some tool, uh, some tool shelves at the back there, a bunch of workmen in there. This is then, uh, you know, some fueling areas where they actually then store up some of the fuel, which is kind of a little. Little area, that one always seems to be having a hard time and got some dirty track. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this is some of the engage stuff that I work on as well. So, this is one module that is mostly finished. There's then another module that I started building that will be somewhat of a switching layout. Uh, so, this will come in to uh, you know, fix that cram, but this would be somewhat of a intermodal yard. So, we'd have a little bit of a warehouse and a long intermodal yard. I've got a uh, five car double stack. Right, you know, that I can put in there a little bit of a bridge, the river, and then coming around at the back there, there'll then just be 
um, a, yaw, a long fiddle yard essentially, but um, you know, this is a little bit different. I have thought about doing some more videos um, around this the last time I did it. Uh, didn't uh, didn't seem to get a lot of interest, but I really like some of the N-Track stuff that goes on over here. Um, so I may well do a little bit more. If it's not your thing, that's fine. Just ignore it. I think the first video I did, I quite explicitly said that it was, you know, an in-scale diversion. This is not to uh, take anything away from Newcastle Central and Double O Gauge, but I know that uh, there are a lot of people that are interested just in model trains in general, and the US stuff is quite different, so this is mainly going to be Union Pacific, so if it interests you, you know, feel free to watch it. Let me know in the comments, actually, if it is something that you would like to see. Just a little bit more of, again, most of the focus is still going to be Newcastle Central. Um, you know, honestly, these are even more slow going than Newcastle Central itself. This took about six months on and off. Um, so the main focus is still going to be Newcastle Central, if we can focus back in. I'm going to go and do some track cleaning to help that up. Um, and then we'll have some, uh, some additional shots of that 108 running in and out of the station. That's the 108 parked back up there in platform 12, you know, alongside the 101. I'm going to take a little bit of a break for now, but I ran it for about an hour and a half or so in total, um, you know, going both directions. So I think that's uh, that's pretty well worn in now. Very happy with how it runs. Um, track is a little dirty in places. I had to do some good cleaning. Um, I think I need to get a little bit better about cleaning now that I've got, you know, a growing collection of locos that are you know, pretty functional, I can do some fun little running sessions, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed some of these clips, a little quick introduction to the, the 108, I'm sure we'll see a lot more of it, uh, a little bit of a sneak peek at some of the additional scenic work that's been going on around here, have another update, uh, that will be coming in uh, the next week or two, about some of the additional scenic detail stuff that I've had going on, uh, last video I looked at some of the trunking and relay boxes and dummy point motors and cabling, um, I do actually have a few other things uh, that come in the mail that I've been working on to go in there, and then also on the north side of the station too, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this, take care, please do subscribe, let me know what you think um, about doing a little bit more of the end scale stuff, or at least sharing a little bit more of that end scale stuff, and uh, we'll be back soon, thanks for watching, bye.